Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Spanish counterpart Pedro Sanchez have inaugurated the Tata Airbus C295 aircraft plant facility in Gujarat's Vadodara. One of India's highly ambitious defence projects, Tata Advanced System is built in collaboration with Airbus Spain and is also the first such private sector final assembly line for military aircraft in India. India signed a 21000 crore rupee deal with Airbus Defence and Space to procure 56 C295 transport aircraft in September 2021. These aircrafts will replace the India Air Force aging Avro 748 planes. Under the agreement, Airbus will deliver the first 16 aircraft in flyaway condition from its final assembly line in Spain within 4 years. The subsequent 40 aircrafts will be manufactured and assembled by the Tata Airbus facility in Vadodara as part of an industrial partnership between the two companies. The new Tata Airbus manufacturing facility will give a massive push to India's defense capabilities. The project will involve the full development of a complete ecosystem from the manufacture to assembly, testing and qualification to deliver and maintenance of the complete life cycle of the aircraft this is the first instance of the private sector manufacturing in military aircraft in india breaking the virtual monopoly of defense psu hindustan aeronautics besides tata defense public sector majors like bharat electronics limited and bharat dynamics limited along with private msmes will contribute to creating a comprehensive ecosystem for military aircraft production in india Speaking at the inauguration, PM Modi said that the facility in Vadodara will not only strengthen India-Spain relationship but also boost the mission of Make in India and Make for the World. कुछ समय पहले ही हमने देश के महान सपूत रतन टाटा जी को खोया है। रतन टाटा जी आज अगर हमारे बीच होते तो शायद सर्वाधिक खुशी उनको मिलती लेकिन उनकी आत्मा जहां भी होगी वो आज प्रसन्नता का अनुभव करते होंगे साथियों C295 टू नाइन फाइव एयरक्राफ्ट की फैक्ट्री नए भारत के नए वर्क कल्चर की उसको भी रिफ्लेक्ट करती है आज किसी भी योजना के आइडिया से लेकर एजुकेशन तक भारत किस स्पीड से काम कर रहा है यह यहां दिखाई देता है दो साल पहले अक्टूबर में ही महीने में इस फैक्ट्री का निर्माण शुरू हुआ आज अक्टूबर महीने में ही ये फैक्ट्री अब एयरक्राफ्ट के प्रोडक्शन के लिए तैयार है मेरा हमेशा से ये फोकस रहा है कि प्लानिंग और एग्जीक्यूशन में अनावश्यक देरी न हो जब मैं गुजरात का सीएम था तब यही वडोदरा में ही बॉम्बार्डियर ट्रेन कोच बनाने के लिए फैक्ट्री लगाने का फैसला हुआ था इस फैक्ट्री को भी रिकॉर्ड समय के भीतर ही प्रोडक्शन के लिए तैयार किया गया था आज इस फैक्ट्री में बने मेट्रो कोच हम दूसरे देशों को भी एक्सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि भविष्य में इस एयर का फैक्ट्री में बने विमान दूसरे देशों को भी एक्सपोर्ट किए जाएंगे सो इफ इंडियन कंपनीज वॉन्ट टू ग्रो बिलीव मी दे कैन ट्रस्ट स्पेन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स द फर्स्ट सी टू नाइन फाइव मैनुफैक्चर इन इंडिया विल प्रोड्यूस बाई दिस प्लान इन बादोद्रा This aircraft it is a symbol of the Spanish and European aeronautical industry in addition to contributing to modernizing India's defense capabilities it will also drive technological development particularly for the state of Gujarat 
India's leading manufacturing hub. Thousands of direct and indirect jobs will be created here, and a new generation of highly qualified engineers and technicians will be trained. Many of them are currently studying at the university, and they will find in this center a first-class professional horizon when they, they finish their training. Spain will also fulfill its commitment to technology transfer. This is essential for the creation of an authentic industrial ecosystem in this sector, from the manufacture of the aircraft to its delivery, from the production of parts under assembly to the performance of all the test and aircraft maintenance tasks throughout its life cycle. Projects of this magnitude have an additional value. There is spillover effects for micro, small, and medium-sized companies. In short, the possibility of creating an entire business ecosystem linked to this advanced final assembly line. I know very well what something like this represents. I come from a country where 99% of companies are micro, small, and medium enterprises. They play a very valuable role in promoting social and territorial cohesion. And I will fail in my duty if I forget to mention that this project was originally conceived more than a decade ago in 2012 by the then Tatasan chairman, Sri Ratan Tataji, who led the whole concept to build a relationship with Airbus and created this partnership with Airbus and laid the foundation stone for this opportunity. So I would like to remember Sri Ratan Tata for his visionary leadership in this very path-breaking initiative. It is a historic moment not only for the Tata Group but also for India and this project embraces the true Atmanirbhar vision of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. The first 200 engineers from Tata Group are already in Spain going through the training that are required. And we have worked with 40 SME companies and we will be adding more companies to build the entire localization that is required for the product, for the product. and I was mentioning to the Honorable Raksha Mantri that except the engine, everything else will be produced. With the support of the Honorable Prime Minister, we will also bring that in the future.